can anyone cook? <laughs> I think they can. They just need a little bit of help sometimes. Yeah. And confidence. Yeah. I think some people go into it defeated already. I know. Maybe they've had a disaster in the kitchen and they think, well, I'm not doing that again. But I'm just trying to teach people that with a little help, you can cook. It's always Such quite a, a good idea if you've got people coming round yeah. to, yeah. to practice it a couple of weeks before and yes. say, right, okay, what am I going to do? I'll, I'll try this and then see how it goes. Yeah. It's I'm, like you, I'm like what you just said, though. I feel defeated before I've started. Yeah. yeah. But some people, uh, they're doing a dinner party, they take something on that they've never cooked before and inevitably it goes wrong. So I always say to people, make sure if you're cooking for friends, it's something you've cooked before. Mm. And it's one of my recipes. What, um, <laughs> so what, are, you, what are you cooking <laughs> for us? Um, I'm cooking a tuna steak with cannellini beans, feta and mint. Now, this is quite a summery wow. dish, so I'm just trying to hold on to the last moments Nothing of summer. Nothing wrong with that. October looks mm. like it's going to be nice. It does, it does. And this is something great to take to work, so you could make it the night before and take it to work in a packed lunch. Cold. Okay, let's nice. have a look at what it's going to look so, like in the end. <laughs> this is the finished dish. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at look that. delicious. So what I've done is I've just got the tuna in there, salt and pepper, I'm just going to sear it. So we don't want to cook it right through, doesn't which I'm really very long, nearly does it? doing. Mm. No, it's almost done. I like my tuna pink. Yep, you like me it too. pink? And salmon pink. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah. So you can see the good thing about cooking tuna is you can see as it cooks what's going on. So I can see the you gap see the line blows, coming yeah, up. Yeah. The pink's in the middle. So you can just judge it to just how you like it. So I'm going to leave you in charge of that. You can or take you that out. Too. For me, you can take that I out. Could, I would eat it raw. Do yeah. <laughs> sushi. So you, do you want to take it out then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, tongs. And Where then would I've you got, like it, Chef? Um, on the plate over there, please. I've got cannellini beans in here. And then I've got some, some cherry tomatoes. This is not the easiest thing no. to take it out Should with. Do you want a knife? Yeah, There's I've a little, fish... little palette knife there. Okay, fish knife. Some yeah. onions. And just balancing the flavour. And some feta cheese. And then just mix that through. So you've got lots of lovely colours here as well. And then I always think a good salad is not complete without a very good dressing. Mm. And I'm just using really basic dressing here with extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic. And then a little bit of mustard is good or some honey just to give it a little a kick, a bit of heat. Um, uh, okay. uh, that, that, that one there. That one, do you want to cook that one as well? Shall I? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm only thinking about <laughs> your lunch. Oh you yeah, know, my lunch. I know I didn't order a lunch. You I've got to take lunch. Lexi to the optician, so I thought I have to <laughs> leg it. <laughs> there we are. Well, we may as well do both of them. <laughs> Let's have lunch here. Do you like feta cheese? Cause I, I love feta cheese and I love capers. I think capers are the thing that people might find a little bit funny. Different. Everybody doesn't like capers, I think. Yeah, they're quite vinegary, aren't they? I, I like them. You like, you like capers? Yeah, I love capers. There's very little I don't like, if I'm honest. Yeah. Really very little. Do you like parsnips? Love parsnips. Oh, I'm parsnip chips. Parsnips. Oh. Have you, have you, yeah, get your potato peeler, just as if you're peeling the parsnip, keep peeling it, then put it on a baking tray into the oven with maybe some salt, pepper and paprika, bake it for about 10 minutes until crisp, and they are fantastic. Oh. Sounds good. Now, oh, that, that might like change how you feel about parsnips. It might, yeah. it might. OK, all right, I'll try it. <laughs> Polenta and egg whites are the only things I really don't like. Polenta. Polenta's pointless. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. It's a bit bland. No. In, in, irrelevant yum. in my life. It should be used as packaging and not food. But you just probably oh. have it like the mash, all squidgy and, and squidgy. In any way, I don't like it. You but have you had it, yeah, you just pack it into a baking tray, bake it, and then cut it into chips, wrap it in pancetta, and it's, sage, and fry it. I'm just going to... Uh, this is your new book, isn't it? <laughs> Is That's there anything about book. polenta in there? There is. There's that exact recipe for polenta chips wrapped um, in prosciutto or pr and, uh, and sage. Oh, fab. So I highly recommend that. OK, then. Do you want to... OK, oh, so that's how you like your tuna. Well, we, I think this is Amanda's because yeah, she I like likes it, pink. it pretty pink. You just like pink. it quickly seared. Yeah. Like it quickly seared. Right, I'm just going to come Throw over round on. here and then... It I just... don't know where to go. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> so this was actually... <laughs> this is like a dart. We're going strictly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pile it up there. And what I like to do is make a big batch of this and put it in my fridge and then have it for lunch throughout the week, three or four days. So it's really, really good. Because, you know, your sandwiches and all this, that and the other, sometimes it's nice to have a piece of fish Beautiful. and some beans. So you've got your carbs, your protein, your fats, mm. everything in but there. But the thing is, that couldn't really be any easier, could it? Not really. It's so, so simple, but it's just super tasty. Yes, perfect. Now, I don't know what's happened with that. Lovely. No, no, this is, is enough. That, that's how you I like it. I like it. I like to see it stripey. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I haven't got a plate for you, and so... Then Oh, yeah. so I just eat it out of the pan? Yeah, eat no. it out of the pan. We're not posh here. <laughs> I'm not posh. Just pop it, pop it on there with that. To finish off a salad, Oh, no, herbs, that looks pretty. Herbs yep. are so important to give extra flavour because if you don't want to be pouring lots of fat on it, there's a little bit of dressing, which I'll pop on now, uh -huh. and then some fresh herbs. Chives are wonderful, and my favourite, mint. And then would you grab a slice of, uh, a little slice of lime, lime for me? Yeah. Yeah. 
So there's one already done. You've got lovely balance of flavours. You're sweet, you're savoury, you're salty, over. you're heat. Yeah, squeeze it all over if you like. And, and these, these are all simple recipes, These aren't are they? all simple recipes. Um, you've got slow cooker recipes, recipes for lunch, recipes for dinner, dinner parties, kiddie recipes for Halloween. There's a real mixture in there. I just wanted to do a real big balance. On, um, <laughs> on, the, on the show, which is, as we, I think we showed, how to be a better cook, oh. Beauty 2, Friday, 7.30pm, is there anyone you can't teach how to cook? Well, if there is, I have not met them yet. Really? Yeah. So you can teach anyone? Yeah, I truly believe that. I might have okay. to come around my house. Where, yeah. did you, where did you start? When was I the first was time you started there. to cook? Well, the first time I cooked when I was eight, I got some bread, well. put five cloves of garlic on it and put it under the grill. So things have moved on since then. <laughs> mm. What about the family? Do you have a family that cooks a lot? Um, yes, my father, he's a big cook. So, you know, Christmas, it's always down to, here, uh, to, to his for big roasts. And he cooks fantastic Italian food. So he really has been my inspiration mm. to cook.